just in, Democrat busted for nasty crime, this is shocking. Stephen Breezy is withdrawing his bid for a seat in the United States Congress. But he would have felt right at home with his fellow Democrats. A New York Democrat attempting to run against Rep. John Faso, RNY, has dropped out of the race for New York's 19th Congressional District. He was arrested twice in September for allegedly shoplifting and attempting to illegally reside in a temporarily unoccupied house, according to the Times Herald record. Stephen Brzee was one of the seven Democrats hoping to oust recently elected Rep. Faso in his first re election campaign. On September 11, 2017, police officers from the town of Newburgh arrested Brzee after he was stopped by workers at a local Kohl's department store with almost $1,500 worth of stolen goods. Police arrested Brzee in the mid afternoon, and he was sent to the Orange County Jail since he could not meet the $500 bail. He remained in the Orange County Jail until New York State Police arrested him on other, unrelated charges. On September 9, two days before Breezy was arrested for shoplifting, a man called police after returning from vacation to find a stranger's possessions in his Kerhonkson, New York home. The Kerhonkson man found suits and other clothes, a wallet, and a handful of cards promoting Breezy's congressional bid. State police were able to locate Breezy in the Orange County Jail on September 13, when he was charged with a misdemeanor count of trespassing. While Breezy refused to comment to reporters on his recent charges, he discussed the charges in a recent Facebook post. I've always said that September is like the Monday of months and after getting in a huge car accident and needlessly languishing in Ulster County Jail, which I'll address once the case is settled. I've had a wicked case of the Mondays, Brizzy wrote on Facebook. That being said, I'm back and better than ever with a huge announcement that I'm very excited about so stay tuned for details. While it is unclear what Brizzy was hoping to announce, he recently declared that he is dropping out of the congressional race after failing to meet his fundraising needs. Brizzy said he spent about $18,000 on the campaign, yet raised only $850 in donations. As someone on the, autism, spectrum the fact Thomas Jefferson was thought to be autistic gave me hope, Breezy tweeted, announcing the end of his campaign. There's a reason not many scientists run for office, because it's so far out of our comfort zone. I can do and learn a lot of things but sadly sociability will never be one of them. So that's enough politics for me. Stephen Breezy was arrested for shoplifting and dropped out of the race. Do you find this appalling? Yet even this remark appears unsubstantiated. According to Brzee's campaign website, the candidate took courses at Sunny Orange but never graduated. He claims he worked as a policy architect, receiving a six-figure salary but this is also unsubstantiated. Additionally, Brzee claims that he lived in the 19th Congressional District of New York, but when reporters investigated the address provided by Brzee, they found it did not exist. Indeed. The level of suspicion warranted by Brzee's statements and actions would have welcomed him into the Democrat fold in Washington, D.C. It also would have resulted in the people of New York's 19th Congressional District not being served in the federal government. government.